Crypto dick butts. What exactly are they and why are these NFTs so popular? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the NFT Brief. So if there's one project in the NFT space that will really make people outside of NFT land question what this whole craze is about, it's got to be crypto dick butts. How exactly do you explain this NFT project to people who don't really know what NFTs are? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk all about crypto dick butts and explore how they're getting on in the NFT bear market. I'll also explain who created them and offer some reasons about why this project has potentially held its value despite the NFT bear market that we're all still mired in. Hope you enjoy the content in this video. If you do, hit thumbs up. And to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, please remember, this isn't financial advice. This is simply for informational purposes. You really got to do your own research and NFTs are incredibly risky. So Crypto Dick Butts is a meme-based NFT project. It's basically pixelated art that you can use any way you want. When I started learning about Crypto Dick Butts, I was surprised to discover that it's actually three different projects. So you have Crypto Dick Butts OG, which is the original collection. And Crypto Dick Butts OG comprises just 161 NFTs. Currently has a whopping floor price of 7.5 each, which is incredible for something that's called Crypto Dick Butts. But the actual collection that you'll find most people buying and trading uh, has a floor price currently of 1.95 each, which is still really good. And there are 5,198 items in this collection, which is also known as Season 3. You can see only 5% of these are listed and 7% of these are listed, but there obviously is a lot less. The creator fee is 8% for the OG collection and it's 5% for the uh, Season 3 collection. So these ones are more a more affordable entry point. The second thing that surprised me about Crypto Dick Butts is how well it's performed despite the NFT bear market. So this is the price trend for their Crypto Dick Butts OG collection. So you can see here it launched in August of 2021. Uh, at one point, the average price was 10 ETH. Uh, we hit the NFT bear market in May, so it plunged back down to 4 ETH. And now the floor price is approximately around 10 ETH again. Of course, you've got to factor in the, the fact that Ethereum has dropped significantly in price since then. But if you're purely valuing your NFTs in ETH, uh, then it has had a consistent floor price. It's been similar for the primary collection or the new collection, Crypto Dick Butts Season 3. So originally the floor price was somewhere around 1.6 or 1.8 ETH. Uh, at one point uh, prior to the bear market, it was at 1.39 ETH. And actually since the bear market, the floor price has trended upwards if you value it in ETH, but then downwards if you value ETH in US dollars. Whereas if you look at other NFTs, you'll find that they've gone downwards in ETH and in US dollars. So this project has actually done quite well compared to what's happened to other NFT projects uh, that have launched during the bull market and now that the whole thing has gone pear-shaped. So for the purposes of the video, I'm going to focus on season three because this has the most volume and it's what people are mostly interested in. And this is the collection that has the most liquidity. So the season three version of Crypto Dick Butts is able or is broken up into 13 different categories based on body, butt, dick, eyes, hand, hat, legendary, mouth, nose, skin, special and so on. So we're going to look at the legendary crypto dick butts uh, from season three and I'll show you some of the ones that stood out. So banana butts stood out because the last sale for this was 19 each uh, during the summer. Another one that stood out when I was looking through this was uh, Digasus. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The last sale for this one here was for uh, 10 each. And then spider butt sold for a whopping 28 ETH approximately four months ago, just after the NFT bear market. And yes, that is a dick coming out of its butt. So quite a colorful and crazy collection that has had some significant and big sales over the past few months. Of course, if you're looking for an entry point in the crypto dick butts, it'll currently cost you a little under two ETH. If you go to the activity section of OpenSea, you can see what some of the more recent sales were. Uh, approximately two to $2,500 uh, for some of the crypto dick butts near the floor. When I was going through Crypto Dick Butts, one NFT from the collection that stood out to me is Crypto Dick Butt 1068, which looks a little bit like a frog or a toad, and it currently has a floor price of 69 ETH, which is insane. And the reason why this stood out to me is not because of the floor price or the NFT itself, but because Crypto Dick Butts, according to sources on Twitter, has some links with another NFT 
meme or picture for profile project that you're probably familiar with. That is Cryptodes. So Cryptodes was developed by uh, Gremlin, and according to various uh, threads on Twitter, these projects may or may not share the same Solidity developer. Uh, and that's not surprising because the artwork is very similar and this is actually a play or looks very similar to some of the NFTs from Cryptodes, which I will profile uh, in a future video. The creator of Crypto Dick Butts is KC Green. He was born in 1987 in Western Massachusetts. He describes himself as somebody who's done commercial work for companies like Nickelodeon, who also launched an NFT project this year that hasn't done quite well, or that hasn't done well, SpongeBob Comics, Adult Swim, and Cartoon Network. Now, interestingly, on his website and also on his Twitter profile at KC Green, he doesn't talk too much about Crypto Dick Butts, and that's because he's taken a step back from the project. So Crypto Dick Butts is a community-focused NFT that's run by a decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO, and this DAO makes decisions about the direction of the project rather than one individual. And I'll show you what that Discord looks like uh, in a few moments. Anyway, Casey Green is the creator of the comic book series known as Dick Butts. So you can learn all about this on knowyourmeme.com, but you can see that this was actually created uh, just over 13 years ago. And there's a video on Know Your Meme where he describes he, how he created this particular comic, and this would have predated NFTs. So I suppose it's a good example of how past art can turn into something that can be used in the blockchain and on Web3. So this is the Crypto Dick Butts Discord channel. There's not too much happening in the Discord channel unless you're a verified holder. I don't actually own a Crypto Dick Butts, but you can join the Discord and you can get the latest announcements about the project. And I'll cover some of those announcements in a few moments. You can also get the official links to the Crypto Dick Books website, to the various collections, Series 3, Series 1 and 2, and also to the 3D uh, Crypto Dick Butts, uh, which I haven't covered just yet. Uh, but these are the 3D Crypto Dick Butts, and they currently have a floor price of 3.8 each with just 29 owners and 29 ETH in volume. And these were created in March of 2021. So these haven't done as well as the primary crypto dick butts collections. Uh, you can also just uh, talk to uh, other crypto dick butts holders who are mostly talking about sizes and inches. So it's not really a place where you go to talk deep philosophy. It's basically just people having fun at about the crypto dick butts NFT project. Uh, and then you can also see some of the memes. Uh, a lot of people are talking about why they're buying these for the culture. So again, really poking fun uh, at Web3 and some of the cliches in Web3. At this point, you may be saying to yourself, why are people spending money on crypto dick butts? And actually, this is something that the crypto dick butts Twitter profile has poked fun at too. In fact, after the project was a success, they said, first they ignore you, then they laugh, then they laugh, then they laugh, they, they. In other words, this was as the floor price was increasing. Uh, and you'll find similar uh, trolley type treads on Crypto Dick Butts profile. So if you buy a Crypto Dick Butts, what exactly do you get? Well, let's be honest, you're basically buying a meme that you're going to use for the culture and because you just like how the project is poking fun at Web3. But you also can join a DAO and vote on the direction of the project. And the project has actually increased its creator royalties recently to 8% to build up its treasury of funds, which they'll use for new initiatives and new partnerships. Some of those partnerships have proved rather amusing to date. So uh, we have Naughty America, which is an adult uh, video company. And they've announced that any crypto dick butts friends who've got VR headsets can join a uh, metaverse to hang out and daydream about Naughty America. And you can visit fyf.com with your VR headset to enter and visit Gooch Island. Well, they were not the only people to get in on the act. King Perrin, who I gather is a company that allows you to rent private jets if you have a lot of money, uh, will enable crypto dick butts holders to get discounts of 15 to 10% to access these private jets to visit uh, Gooch Island. Uh, the project is also uh, collaborated or is starting to work with NFT artists uh, like Crypto Sergs and Killer Acid for some future initiatives for Crypto Dick Butts. So you can learn all about them on at Killer Acid and also at Crypto Sergs. And you can also visit the official Crypto Dick Butts store to purchase merchandise. So you, you fancy wearing a Crypto Dick Butts t-shirt and then explaining to everybody what exactly or why you're wearing something on your shirt that says Crypto Dick Butts, you can buy that for $30. You can buy uh, some other types of t-shirts, some custom print artwork that you can hang on your wall, and even a Crypto Dick Butts mug. 
Uh, you can also use the Crypto Dickbutts uh, website to again find some of the official links uh, to join your Substack newsletter and to inspect the, the DAO's contract address and the community treasury. On the community treasury, at the time of recording this video, they currently have just under $50,000 uh, in ETH. So not a huge amount of money, but perhaps they have they own some of the Crypto Dickbutts NFTs, some of which are worth a significant amount of money, particularly if it's from uh, Season 1. Speaking of money, Crypto Dickbutts is Creative Commons Zero or Creative Commons No Rights Reserved. So that basically means that anybody, including Crypto Dickbutts holders and non-holders, can do what they like with their Crypto Dickbutts, including for commercial use. So in other words, I could take one of these and I could use it as the logo for my business. So let's say I was setting up a coffee shop. It'd be interesting to see how many people will come and drink in a coffee shop that's called Crypto Dick Butts Roastery. But you get the point. Once you own a Crypto Dick Butts, or even if you don't own one, you can use it in any way you wish. And the idea here is that simply it will help the project grow or become a type of meme or grow virally and organically. So why is Crypto Dick Butts done so well despite the fact that we're in an NFT bear market? Well, I'd argue that there is a subset of NFT buyers who like to buy and hold NFTs that are a little bit like CryptoPunks. They like NFTs that are on-chain, that are pixelated, potentially Creative Commons Zero, and that they can do what they like with it. So here is another example of a pixelated on-chain NFT. It is the Potatoes, and it currently has a floor price of 1.48 ETH. The creators, 9gag, have actually built a platform for creating memes in Web2 and are about to launch the Memeland parent NFT uh, collection. And this is done quite well despite the fact that we're in an NFT bear market. Cryptodes is another example. It's considered one of the OG uh, NFTs. And Cryptodes has also done well despite the fact that we're in an NFT bear market. And as I mentioned previously, Cryptodes and also uh, Crypto Dick Butts may share the same Solidity developer. There's so a thoughtful thread or somewhat thoughtful thread from Mark Andreessen Horowitz, aka A16Z, who describes how memes are part of internet and web tree culture. And whoever controls the memes, says Elon Musk, controls the universe. Whether or not you want to take that seriously, who knows? Crypto dick butts certainly doesn't take it seriously. They say, during good times, a dose of reality is important. Why are you buying pictures of pixel dicks? Why indeed? You could be buying food, rent, car, bike, house, nothing, shoes, banana, and so on. In other words, perhaps Crypto Dick Butts is simply an NFT project that people are buying because they don't care, because they're NFT DGENs and because they like to take risks. And perhaps Crypto Dick Butts is an NFT project that's for NFT collectors and not for those outside of the space. In fact, if I were to say to somebody, this is what NFTs are and what they do, I probably wouldn't start with crypto dick butts because they'd probably laugh out loud and say this whole thing is a scam. That said, NF crypto dick butts is indicative of how NFT projects that perhaps started out as a joke or as a comic book can turn into something much more and even have some success despite the fact that we're in an NFT bear market. In fact, you know you've made it in NFT land when your NFT project starts inspiring scammy or derivative, derivative projects like dick butts of the times and dick butt verse. There are lots of different variations of dick butts that you can find on OpenSea, none of which are worth buying, but which show how crypto dick butts has captured the attention of NFT holders and potentially of scammers. So what do you think about crypto dick butts? Are there any other meme NFTs that would compare quite well to crypto dick butts? If so, let me know in the comments section below this video. And if you want to get more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, I'm going to leave you with my favorite NFT from the collection. His name is Dick Fitz and he sold for a whopping 36.68.